welcome back to the Young Christians podcast. I'm Celine, and uh, we do knitting, crochet, whatever fiber arts we're um, in the mood for. And I have some coffee, and uh, I'm gonna rush through this episode because one, I don't know if the lighting will change really fast because this is a new apartment, new place, you like my drawings, um, and um, yeah, it's just a lot of unknowns and I do not have a mirror behind my phone so I actually can't see um, what I'm doing or what's in frame and stuff like that. So. Just bear with me, this is like an experimental setup, so, yeah, and, um, okay, so, to get that out of the way, or I got that out of the way, so, um, hopefully it's better, um, and Cargo has been released, like, a few weeks ago, I think, by now, um, maybe like two weeks ago but this is like my cargo episode whatever um so this is the cargo sweater by rebecca from the crea bell podcast um her knitting podcast and i'm wearing it with my sophie scarf that i use the same um main yarn for this this one has no mohair so because of that, it has like a different color because the mohair um, I used from Color Mart is like an aqua color and it's much more lighter and vibrant color so that's why it's like a much different color and this is the We Are Knitters um, Finita yarn in aquamarine it's a very yarn to match color or to match more hair with so i'll just use like the color that i'm going for for the more hair so i used it with dusty artichoke before but i used two strands so you would you didn't even see the color of the um of the finita yarn at all if you use two strands because it's such a similar color also very different if you know what I mean um, but yeah the finito yarn is much closer to this aqua color and I have such a hard time photographing it because aqua is just not a good color to capture and also dusty art truck is very hard to capture as well um, and um, yeah, those like the bluish greens are really hard to capture on on like phone cameras. So that's why on my Instagram the colors are very weird. Um, and yeah, so um, just like if you didn't watch any of my other cargo episodes. I'll just update you here on like the changes I made and I forgot to include it in my Instagram stuff so you'll have it here um, so I did one extra no one extra repeat I think so it's 31 repeats for a sleeve um, in size 1 um, and I noticed that there is a change to size one's um, sleeve or cuff decreases. So my cuff will look very different from what you're gonna do because there's more decreases um, in the f official pattern. So just to keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I could I definitely could have done the official release decreases for sure. 
because I still have quite a bit and it actually does fit my hand comfortably so it definitely could go um, down a little more as you can see there's like about a half inch left that I could decrease um, on the cuffs uh, so that probably will solve that for you in the official pattern and um, if you can see that this is like kind of high um, compared to um, other people's samples and if you want it lower um, just use a bigger needle to um, cast on that's the solution um, I used four millimeters for the body and then 3.5 for the cuff for the ribbing so just use and if you do that then use a 4.5 millimeter for the cast on edge or 4.25 whatever floats your boat um, if you're a loose knitter, knitter then probably 4.25 is enough but if you're a tight knitter like me then 4.5 is better um, to cast on with um, and yeah so the body is actually the finished um, measurements but I wanted to make it longer but that didn't work out so it's the cargo official measurements I don't know length um, so it's 46 from up here or 46 centimeters from here from the back um, well I forgot to measure from underneath the arm because I think that's the measurement that they used um, but yeah I knit to 50 centimeters and then it shortened four centimeters so um, after blocking so yeah just account for that because I did not I totally forgot about it it like slipped my mind so yeah add four centimeters to get the um, the length you want um okay so i will show you my first finished object My first finished object is. Oh, there's so much hair on this. Um, it's a sporty knit squirt by. Handmade by Florence. Um, and I haven't blocked it yet. And I know it's supposed to come out soon. Like, sometime after the 19th and before November. <laughs> I think that's when it's supposed to come out um, and I still haven't blocked it but yeah I feel kind of bad because it's so soon and I still haven't fucking done what I needed to um, but yeah I need this so in the beginning I thought two four ply can make a light DK yarn weight but I found out during this test net that it's actually a sport weight yarn and although the pattern does suggest a sport to light DK yarn um, Which is fine, which is fine for the skirt part, but for the short part, you really have to account your um, 
your row yeah your row gauge oh my god <laughs> so yeah because I use a quite different yarn than the pattern used um, my row gauge was super off and my what's it called my stitch gauge is not that off, but it is a little bit for the shorts because um, when I tried it on, uh, using the size one, um, the size one stitch counts um, for the short part before the split, um, it was too tight. Or it was quite tight, but and I didn't know how much it would loosen in washing. I know it would loosen, but or I know it would bloom, but I don't know about how much. So I was concerned, and then the length of the crotch area is just like I don't know what that length is. So I had to ask as she sent it over. Um, so I just knit to that length um, and then increasing or using the size 2 stitch counts for the um, shorts before the split and then after increasing I did a little more to reach the um, calculated length for the shorts um, and then I did the increases or we call it the cast-ons for the split for size 2 but I could have just stuck to size 1 um, stitch counts for that but I didn't so it, the ribbing part or the leg part is loose for me um, but because it's loose I just did the instead of doing a stretchy bind off or the surprisingly stretchy bind off I just used a regular bind off um, or I just bound off in pattern so that it's like a little tighter um, on my leg than the surprisingly stretchy bind off. So, yeah. So that's like something you could do if, if the leg is too, um, it like fits perfectly, but like without stretching, is that, does that make sense? Like my whole leg can fit in this um, without stretching it to the max, it just lays flat. I guess you could say on my leg um, so if that happens just use a regular or yeah just use a regular bind off and bind off in pattern so if it's a pearl you pearl that and then you bind it off and if it's knit you knit that and then bind off right um, I still haven't woven any of the ends so mm, you gotta do that and yeah, and in the pattern it says to cast on for each leg, but you can just cast on and then pick up from that cast on edge. Um, it's really up to you. And f there are holes, but you can just sew that up later. Um, but in the pattern, if you follow the pattern, um, then it's you cast on both sides and then you sew together like a, a bottom up raglan. So um, because you sew it, then you can sew both. You can sew like any potential holes. So you could do that instead. Um, so that you'll have a not holy crotch, you know. 
but yeah there's so much like mohair cat hair on this because black and it's knitted fabric so yeah and um yeah and the waistband is also a different width but i think everyone's waistband is different um you know just get whatever is available to you um and i have some extra bits of yarn left but it's so little um and i was really concerned that i would run out of the of the yarn on the cones like i do have more um cones of this yarn but i just didn't want to break into those but i'm so glad i didn't have to um and on each cone it's about approximately 850 meters so if you use sport weight yarn you can get away with using about 850 meters so 850 meters is the minimum probably for size one um which is basically like a t-shirt um quantity of yarn something like that um because sort of quantity for me is like a thousand meters but i regularly use over a thousand meters for sweaters so i don't know if it's because i like mostly use or mostly do like patterned um, all over pattern um, sweaters or something because that will take more yarn than a stock in it. I mean, but I can't finish my sweater number nine because it's uh, because I'm using seven millimeters magic glue for sleeves and that kills me every time I use magic glue. <laughs> That's why I don't. I haven't been making socks. Um, okay. And the next thing. So that's my finished object. And then my... I have three... No, four whips. Okay, the first one is... Um, the June top. Which... I worked on the last time I worked on it was um, oh sh let's see the last time I worked on this was like I don't know like the first week we moved in or something and um, I'm working on the back portion but I haven't finished it yet so that's what I have to do the back portion I did the front already so I completed the front with the straps so now I have to do the back but I haven't touched it in like two weeks um, so yeah it's been on hold because I've been working on sweaters and uh, this place is much colder for some reason. It's, I mean, it's also been cooling down as well, but it is much colder than the other city that we were in. And I put it in the patina bag. Um, um, and I know I posted this like multiple times already, but it's my... Uh, Sycamore sweater by Petit Knit and Jutop Light is also by Petit Knit, just so you know. Um, I can't get my Shabney uh, Shiro to be tighter. I don't know if that's just the nature of the Japanese Shiro, but yeah. I tried to improve it on the second portion, but I don't know if that did anything, to be honest. Um, it's definitely tighter than my, over here, but like not by much. Um, and yeah, 
procrastinating on this because I've been working on one of the other whips. Um, but when I work on this whip, I'm procrastinating on another test nut. So that's what's been happening. And it's kind of like um, a faux saddle shoulder. It's like fraudulent. Like the Frankie sweater um, by Sidney Scarn. So yeah. I definitely maybe should do the neck portion, but I'm still undecided whether to do the original neck collar thingy, or like the turtleneck, or just to do a regular um, double footed, folded collar instead, because I would definitely wear that more than a turtleneck. Um, but I don't know if I should try something new, you know, and, um, so that's my second whip. My third whip is the Kara sweater by Rebecca from the Cray Bear because I wanted to do that one. Uh, and she said that, um... We could do this test in it if we wanted to um, in the from the cargo group chat. So, yeah. Um, and we call this no collar or no, yeah, no collar neck, the demon hole. Okay. That's what we're gonna call it, as coined by Rebecca. Um, so I joined in the round and I haven't split for, no, that's not what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> I mean, I joined in the round and I haven't done the color work because it starts after joining in the round. Um, and the construction for the shoulders is kind interesting um it's very reminiscent of the anchored sweater but still a little different it's not the same um and yeah and i was actually planning to do the neck band um but I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm using 3.5 millimeter, which is a size down from what Rebecca used. So, yeah. Because I knit tighter than Rebecca. Well, I don't know. I think it's just, um, It's just the, what do you call it? What I can get gauge with, with this yarn. And it's um, JC Rennie Super Soft Cashmere in Powder Blue, um, held double. So yeah, I already know that 3.5 because I had swatched for something else that used 3.5 um, and I knew that uh, this fit gauge. And that gauge is 22 stitches, so. Oh yeah, and I had to like pause on that because I didn't, I like ran out of yarn, um, so I had to crank some more yarn into a ball because I only have one cone, but I need to hold it double, so I need to, and the cone is huge still, so I didn't want my cats to get all up in it and bite it because it's bad for their health because of the spinning oil that's in it. Um, and then this is my fourth whip, it's the Ingrid sweater, and this is the second one I'm making. It's actually not for me, and that's why it's in a color that I don't really like. It's teal, but on camera it looks blue, like a dark blue, 
but it's actually a teal. I think this is, um, what do you call it? Drops Lima in Petrol Mix. Um, so it's like a blue with green and light blue heather in it. So that's why it's a mixed shade. Um, and it is quite a light fabric. It would be too light for me, but um, for my cousin, it'd be fine. Um, because she wanted a lighter sweater. She didn't want like a sweater that's like heavy. And this is quite thin, so yeah. And I used a worsted plus hair for mine, so it's like a size up in weight. But yeah, this is just the DK that Petite Knit said you could do instead of DK with mohair. So you could just take out the mohair and it'll be fine. Um, it is a little holy, I've got to be honest, but you know, it'll do. Um, yeah, and I ran out of yarn, so I have to attach more or put this on hold and then do the neck or something. I actually had to do the neck on three sweaters, so I'm not excited to pick up those stitches. Um, yeah, this is how far I've got in like, I've just been working on this for like the whole week, so I've basically done all of it in like a week and a half or something and when I started it I only did I think just the back half of the back portion so or like a third of the back panel when I stopped it before the move um, so yeah, so now I got quite a bit of progress on it and I don't feel bad abandoning it for another two weeks. So yeah, that's what's up with that. Um, and oh, I didn't even show you. Did I show you this last time? Ugh, maybe I did, but this is the swatch I did. Um, which one's the right side up? Right. I think this is how it's gonna look um, in the... Or this is how the color work is gonna look. But because I did this back and forth and not in the round, um, I think it'd be fine. And this is how the floats look. I mean, they look kind of fine to me. Um, and this is unwashed, of course, because I'm too lazy to wash it. Um, and for the dark color I'm using, I'm Van Lopi in their navy color. Um, the number, the shade number is 0118. So, yeah. So, I mean, it looks good. And I found out that my, uh, what's it called, Portuguese knitting style is, has the same gauge as my Norwegian's continental style knitting. So that's why I can knit back and forth using, on the right side, using Norwegian continental, on the pro side, using um, Portuguese knitting style so um, and that's how I made this um, but I'm sure it's it'd be a little different in the round um, because I'll only be using one style and I've been procrastinating that because I'm kind of scared 
to do that. A little scary. Um, that's why it's been put on hold for like a week already. So, yeah. And then for yarn acquisitions, I got ta da! Explore Knits. And, yeah, Explore Knits and Fibers. The Fia colorway. Um, it's spelled with the F-I-A-D-H, but it's called Fia, I think. Um, and I have 1,200 meters. So that's enough for a sweater for me. Um, but I didn't know if it, like what to hold it with or what to use it for. But I think I may use it for a marble sweater. But also the Abitina, okay, it's because I saw Alexis Zandro's garn um, finish hers and it looks so glorious with the natural, or with the white um, bulky weight yarn or chunky weight yarn and, a, and the mohair with it. It just looks so nice, honestly. Um, but hers look kind of loose. Um, so, and because, um, technically all the petite knit patterns, smallest size X small doesn't fit me, or like it's not graded for my size because I'm like a size down from that, um, I would have to use eight millimeters, I think. That's like the biggest needle size I have that's interchangeable so that's probably what I'm gonna use with like drop snow or something and then two strands of this because um, each skein is 300 meters and then for one strand you need 600 meters so hopefully this is enough so 600 and 600 you hold it double with the strap snow i'm thinking we can have something okay um yeah and um i'm kind of concerned that drop snow off-white is not as white as the lightest color which is probably the undyed portions of this yarn um yeah I'm just don't want it to be too yellow. Oh yeah, and this is Surrey Alpaca because Explored Nissa Fibers doesn't have a mohair. So and I want to try baby Surrey Alpaca, so you know. Oh, and also I haven't taken it out of the package because it's kind of a pain in the ass to put it back together, you know. So I'm just gonna leave it in here until I'm ready to work with it. And plus it keeps the bugs out, so. And there's kind of a lot of bugs in here. Or at least, um, I mean for now, because we haven't, um, what is it called? Oh, we have cleaned the apartment. But before we moved in, there were a lot of bugs in here. So that's what we're gonna have to deal with for like um, probably another month until we can get all the bugs out. But it's not that much. I'm just being really paranoid about the bug problem. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take another sip of coffee to calm down. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. I hope everything was in the frame because I know that you can see like here to like 
here, probably, right? Um, yeah, and I hope I'm not too close. Oof, I don't know if I'm too close, honestly. If my head is cut off, that's just how it's gonna be. Um, let's see. Okay, and we're at 35, but I can't see. I'm kind of concerned that I don't have enough battery. Um, and let's see. Uh, I think I didn't touch on the yarn combination for the sycamore sweater. Uh, but the yarn combination is on my Instagram, so just look for a photo of this. Um, and it should be somewhere in the description, or not description, what is it called? I don't know. Yeah, it will be there. Um, I think it's, maybe I'll put it in the description of this video, but I know it was also in the last video, so. I think, yeah, it'll be there. I don't know why I even said the yarn combination for the care sweater because it's also in the last video. And I'm probably gonna put it in this video too, in the description, so uh, what am I doing? Um, oh yeah, and this was in the Ireland collection, did I say that? Um, which is over now, and they're um, getting ready to do their fall yarn stuff. So it's like their fall stuff and their Christmas stuff, which is all in stock orders. So you can't pre-order them. So get it while you can, I guess. I mean, they are quite expensive. I think it's like $30 per skein. Um, and then I've been looking at so much yarn, so much yarn, and I missed out on a cashmere sale that Color Mart has had, or had, um, and that, because it was half off, I should've gotten it, but, uh, I shouldn't be getting so much yarn anyways, so, yeah. And then also the drop sale is gone now, so I'm gonna wait until the next one, which will probably be kind of soon, I think. And then I, maybe I'll just wait until Black Friday and um, I'll just buy the yarn then. Um, and I shouldn't be buying yarn because I have so much yarn. And it's like taking up room in my closet and I don't like that because I don't have room for other things in my closet and I have a lot of clothes so yeah and I don't have a storage solution storage solution yet for my yarn I need to get like shelves or something in the bedroom and um, I think my boyfriend doesn't like that. But I don't want more drawers. It's just, I'm just so over drawers. After like living like 20 years with the drawers, I like really dislike it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know why I like cabinets. about like cabinets just they like hide away your things but then because you can't see it you don't actually know what's in it so that's also a problem because if I don't see the yarn I'm not gonna know it's there over time um, or like over time I will forget how much what's there you know that kind of thing and then I'm gonna buy more yarn and then look at my uh, 
cabinet of yarn, I guess, and then be like, oh shit, there's that. I don't want to do that, and I don't want my yarn stash to be that big where that happens all the time. Um, I don't know why my red nose is running. It just runs when I fill. I don't understand. And I put this up this week because I procrastinated on that too. Uh, but yeah, that artwork looks good. And there's one more above it, but it doesn't fit in frame, and it would be like too high up. If it's in frame, so yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I don't know when the next one will be. I am hoping it would be next week, around Monday, Sunday, something. Um, but you know, uh, the other apartment still needs to get it cleared out because um, we still have cleaning supplies there and some of their shit um, but I think we moved everything else to here so that's good and I don't know when we're supposed to get the keys back probably this week sometime um, yeah Um, this new city is, I mean, I just need to adjust and I have such a hard time adjusting, like, really, really bad. Um, yeah, like this one week where I just felt uncomfortable in my own skin because my I was just stressing out so bad. Um, and changing my environment so fast, so drastically like that is like, it gets me like unstable and like really emotional for no reason. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. It is um, quite a change. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I just gotta get used to this place, this environment, this city, yeah. And this is such a small city, so I don't, I don't think I can. Um, I mean, I can say where it is, but I just don't want to. Um, and the last place, I'll say probably next week when we're fully moved out, gave the keys back and everything. Um, yeah. Because that city is also small, but this city is smaller than the other city, so. And we're 20 minutes away, so. 20 to 30, mm, yeah. Um, yeah. The area has way too many small cities. Like they need to like come together to make a big one big city, you know? I don't understand it, but whatever. Um, I think that's it. See y'all next week. Gonna, I'm gonna finish my coffee and probably knit some more on the Inger sweater today. And yeah, see ya.